I'm Cherie. I'm a creative from Toowoomba. I love to turn everyday junk into altered art and craft. Today, I'm going to show you how to create your own creature in a box. This workshop is brought to you by Youth Connect and Toowoomba Regional Council and the Southwest Queensland Regional Art Services Network. To make your creature, you will need some junk items, glue or tape, scissors, and depending on the items you find, you may also need some tools or wire cutters. We are going to explore the home for some items we can repurpose or upcycle. Items you might find and could use include metal screws and keys, disposable cutlery, old toys and magazines. You can visit your local op shop. On my last visit, I found an old tie, a bright coloured fabric sample and this cute little lace fan. You can also use packaging. Packaging tends to have the most amazing texture and colours for altered art and best of all, it's free. Once I've collected all of my junk, I lay it out on the table and look at it. I start to use my imagination to think about what I can create. When I look at using everyday items in my art and craft, I feel it's important not to think about its original purpose, but to look at its colour, shape, the size and its texture. Once you have decided on a design for your creature, it's time to start putting it together. For this project, you will need something to use as a frame. I have chosen a shoebox lid as it's very sturdy. I'm using some black tissue paper that I've ripped up and I'm gluing it down to cover the whole space. Let it dry overnight. You could also paint it or leave it if you like. I decided I want to make a beetle creature with wings. I'm using a picture of a beetle to get a similar shape to the real thing. Next, Assemble your items and glue them down. You may want to finish your design here and keep it simple or you can keep creating. Because I have a lot of collected junk at my workshop, I'm going to keep going and give more detail to my creature. Keep in mind heavier items will need stronger glue. You might need some help from an adult in this part. And there you have it, your very own creature in a box from everyday junk from around the home. You may like to do a whole collection. You can display your creature in a box, freestanding or on a wall. I hope this has given you some ideas for the future and how you can reuse everyday items that you may normally throw away. If you have enjoyed this project and would like to see more of what I do, I run supported or independent workshops and provide do-it-yourself take-home packs. You can find more details by following the link below to my Facebook page, Junk Made. Also, don't forget to take a photo of your artwork and share it with us. Hashtag HomeProjectTR. We would love to see what you have created using items from around your home.